Well, there's a new talent show in town, Jimmy, and it's called The Voice. <laughs> and maybe you're not watching The Voice. Will, I am. <laughs> <laughs> John Richardson, everyone. Yeah. You know when sometimes you're watching a TV talent show, it's basically karaoke on TV, and you think, this needs chairs that spin round. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be such a big selling point, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Chair spin round, it's a big quite, deal. Yeah. Quite exciting at first. I don't think it's part of the format. <laughs> I think it was in Tom's contract, because his hips are so bad he can't turn <laughs> round anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it took so long they put the chairs in. After the show, they put wheels and handles on it and take him home. <laughs> <laughs> Is the show better if I do... <laughs> oh, I heard you, and then I didn't know what you looked like, and then I turned round. <laughs> <laughs> it should be allowed, though, once they've turned round and seen the people, to go, mm, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> if they can turn back, back again, again. <laughs> we must be joking. <laughs> Ellie, are you, are you watching it? I am, I like the judges, I like Jesse J a oh. lot. Me and Natalie were saying this, we want to be Jesse J's best friend. Her best friend? Yeah! <laughs> Jimmy. Or girlfriend. Or girlfriend, would you? I don't, I don't would like you? Ellie, we was in the makeup room, we were saying we'd give her one, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> if you three need a space to sort of hang out and just see what happens, I've got her. <laughs> <laughs> she does have the ability, though. She's, like, absolutely beautiful, but within the blink of an eye, she can go to Les Dawson. With, like, she proper gurns. Amazing. It's like... she, she's, like, beautiful, and then suddenly she'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's weird. Is it's her really hair weird. real? I think she's a big fan of wigs. Wicks. Wicks. <laughs> <laughs> Get down to... Wicks. <laughs> <laughs> you can see Tom in an old people's home just being wheeled around going, I knew Elvis, you know. <laughs> he mentioned, like, every two sentences he goes, when I was talking to Elvis. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how well he knew him, but I know they haven't spoken since 1977. <laughs> <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> Look at Tom's eyes. It's like someone in a coma who can use their arms and legs. <laughs> 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 I knew Elvis, you know. <laughs> You you enjoying it, Joe? The voice? Yeah, I like the cheers. Yeah, I like spinning around. <laughs> I, want, I want one. After the show, I might ask if I can have one. When it's if there's not a second series, I'll I'll email them. <laughs> <laughs> not the ones Tom's had. One of the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Tom Jones is like he's sort of quite an icon and stuff, and he's had hits for forty years. But Danny is is in the script. <laughs> I reckon the first time the viewing public saw Danny, Wikipedia must have crashed. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> Literally, I couldn't pick him out of a lineup. He could be in our front row now, I would not know. You wouldn't know, he wouldn't be facing you. <laughs> uh, could, could we have the fellow with a flask? The train spotter? Here's your related question. Most people think having a quirky obsession makes a person more interesting. True or false? Occasionally, I, I practice hide-and-seek <laughs> in my house, in case a game kicks off. <laughs> Are we ready? So you play hide-and-seek on your own? Yeah, pra well, I'm not playing. I'm not playing then, I'm practising. <laughs> a massive difference. Joe, you then, should yeah, come round my house. You've got to come round mine, cos my little girl, she loves hide-and-seek, and we play it all the time. I really don't think... That... You're, um... try... <laughs> You're trying to arrange a play date with yeah. your three-year-old and that. <laughs> That's just Look at him! Brain. He looks like a photo fit. <laughs> yeah, he's right. <laughs> I'm, not... I'm not being funny. I wouldn't let me in your house. <laughs> and, any quirky hobbies, obsessions over here? I've got all of them. Just pick them up, as people say, and I think, yeah, I'll have that, I'll do that. Because <laughs> you've got most OCDs, haven't you? Well, no, they're not OCDs, they're just correct ways of doing things. <laughs> <laughs> they're just facts. <laughs> I'm having particular bother at the moment, because I've moved, and on my walk to the station, there's three patches of tarmac that are different to the rest. <laughs> and the first one is an odd number of steps, and the next two are even, and it breaks my heart. <laughs> Every time I have to do a little half step so that I get an even number on the foot. You can't find a counsel about that kind of shit. <laughs> and that's like the start of the day as well. And if you've got seven bumpy tarmacs on the left foot and six on the right, you're not having a good day, are you? Then? <laughs> if, if I was sensible, I'd say, well, do you know what? It evens out when I get on. But then sometimes I can't remember if I've got uneven on oh, the left. For
<laughs> Everyone's got little ones they do, and they definitely make you more interested. OK, uh, most people think having a quirky obsession makes a person more interesting. What do you think, true or false? True. What do you think? What do you think? Um, probably true. True. Probably true, Joe? True, Joe. Yes. Yes. <laughs> OK, you're going true. What are you going to go for, Joe? Absolutely. I mean, having a quirk... Can't, the definition of a quirk is something interesting, so it has to make you more interesting to have a quirk. Oh, all right, just answer. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, but how many letters quirky got and how many is interesting got? Oh, Christ, jumble them up. <laughs> one's got a G, but the other one's got a Q, and that's at the beginning and that's at the end. Ah, but they're like opposites of each other, so you can't have them together joined together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, how can you join those together? <laughs> <laughs> can I just say, Sean, I think you're coming across as a little bit weird now. <laughs> To rein it in. We think it's true, Jimmy. I can tell you the answer is true. Yeah. Yeah, 85% of British people think a quirky obsession makes a person more interesting. My aunt spends 14 hours a day cleaning. She's a cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is, is the name of our final round. And here's your question. Last thing Brits do before going to sleep. I always move into the slow lane. <laughs> <laughs> I have a ritual of sort of defending the house before I go to sleep. I go down, you know, I check all the locks. Sometimes I open the door, I just stand on my the sort of threshold of the house, <laughs> going, try and get into my house then! <laughs> I'm ready for you! <laughs> and that usually puts me in the mood for bed. <laughs> the great thing about having kids is that you can sleep anywhere, cos you're so sleep-deprived that you just can fall asleep, like... Anywhere. How much sleep? I mean, when they were born, presumably because you're really sleep deprived when they're little. I don't think you ever get it back, really. I don't think it ever comes back. Maybe when they're 20 and they go to college. <laughs> so, sorry, you're saying you can have a 19 year old in the house and go, <laughs> oh, I'm not getting any sleep. <laughs> oh, this 19 year old's keeping me up. He's up no. at four for a feed. <laughs> I think if I had a 19 year old in the house, I wouldn't, wouldn't get much sleep. <laughs> Yeah, have I been ever clapping John the pervert? <laughs> he is <a> pervert! <laughs> I think if I had a nice thing out of the house, I don't want to answer to it, I'd say it I'm bloody hell, get hold of it and give it a nice thing to you! <laughs> That's how you talk, John. That's how you sound to southerners. You think you sound very eloquent, soft spoken. The very poetry of the lakes in your voice, but I say you sound like that. <laughs> I'm gonna get hold of you. Just 19. <laughs> I don't Time know. for Uncle John to show you. I don't know what the few tricks. I've got a few tricks to show you. What the form if someone gets possessed by the ghost of Bernard Man? <laughs> <laughs> Is there someone we could call? <laughs> Do we need a priest? <laughs> oh no, it's happening again! <laughs> 19, are you 19? Are you 19? <laughs> Go with him. <laughs> You start doing the voice and you think you can stop your car. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to do. <laughs> oh, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it when it comes back at you. Oh, when it comes back, I don't like it at all. <laughs> <laughs> are you 19? <laughs> yes, you are. It's just like being back home at Christmas. 